This is Gary Penny, also known as GP. Gary used to be my old group Iron Man account her normal account over a year ago and in that process I cleaned out the entire account leaving Gary with zero GP to his name. But as they say the comeback is always greater than the setback so in this series Gary Penny will rebuild with the ultimate end goal of achieving a max cash stack. As of May 29th, 2024, the drop rates of most rare items of the Nightmare of Ashihama and the Fosanis Nightmare was massively boosted, bringing the rate of hitting any unique from the Nightmare from 1 in 100 to 1 in 66.6 and 1 in 167 to 113 from the Fosanis Nightmare. With the increased rates, I've decided to spend an entire week only killing both versions of the boss to see how many uniques and how much money I can make. And to kick off this video, we have made a massive purchase already, the Inquisitor's Maze. This weapon is going to be extremely strong at the Nightmare as it's weak to crush, and this is one of the best crusher weapons in the game. On this account, I've never killed the Fasani's Nightmare, and on the actual Nightmare, we only have one kill count. And one of the big items I really want to get early is the Sleepy Tablet, which is 1 in 100 drop rate and guaranteed after 100 kills, because it lets you teleport right to the Nightmare. The Fasani's Nightmare is a very tedious boss to kill, as the length of the fight is for most people around 10 minutes, and not messing up for that long can be difficult. Skipping some of the minor mechanics, it mainly revolves around correct prayer switching, avoiding dark circles on the ground, using magic to destroy four pillars between each face and dealing with various minions, such as sleepwalkers defeated with a blowpipe, husks with a ham joint and parasites with a bandos god sword or any high hitting weapon. And finally, you'll end up at a burst phase where the granite mall spec finishes off the boss. But we got it done, the Fosani's Nightmare is dead, that is the first KC for some samurai bruise and combat achievements, but I did try some new stuff like fire cape and an amulet of torture, but the blood amulet of fury is just way way stronger. At least if you haven't done this boss in a while and you're making mistakes. Second kill coming in and it definitely felt a lot faster. Yeah, 923. That is quite a lot faster from the first one. We're already improving. We are coming up on the first milestone of the grind, 5kc, which actually gives you a combat achievement. Fosani Master. I personally, I wouldn't really call myself a master, but Jagex, you said it. I'm listening to you. I managed to make it out of this one, but this is one of the worst situations you can land in during the Fosani's Nightmare fight. When the husks spawn, they root you in place and you have to kill them before you can move. And if this happens at the same time as the sleepwalker phase, you can have a massive problem on your hands. Luckily, it wasn't the last sleepwalker phase. If it was, I would have probably been dead. What? Yo, I was 8 minutes into a kill and my dude, my whole client crashed. I, that's never happened before. I'm definitely dead. And we have arrived at Lumbridge. It is what it is, I guess. Oh, yes, we got the sleep. Oh, that's so lucky, man. We got the sleepy tablet on 15kc. This is the teleport that allows me to get here way quicker. It honestly saves like 2 minutes of running every single kc. And look at this, we teleport. Right here, at the Nightmare. Only have to run for like 10 seconds and we're at the boss. Oh, okay. I thought that was actually a rare drop, but Snapdragon Seeds, I think, is the most valuable common drop you can get here. So not too bad, but um, Beam kind of scared me. Another bait beam, but this time an elite clue scroll. We should be seeing quite a lot of these on this grind. These are uh, 1 in 35, I believe. Okay, so we're coming up on 25k here for a combat achievement, Fosani's Grandmaster. But for day number one of this grind, we're going to go for 30k. It's not a ton, and tomorrow we can go for a lot more, but the first day here was a learning day, and I've died a lot of times, to be honest. And even though I've done 25k, I've been here already for a long time. And for the final KC of the day, we get a clue scroll, not bad, and magic logs as well. But even though we didn't get any rare items today, that is all good, because we still have six more days to go, and tomorrow I'm going really hard on the Fosani's Nightmare, and hopefully we can get an item. I just woke up and we need to buy the Inquisitor set right now. So I'm actually cashing in on all the farming I've done so far and selling all the Toad Flags to be able to buy something very big. I actually missed it in the patch notes, but with the new Nightmare drop changes, they also buffed the Inquisitor set effect by tripling it when wearing the Inquisitor's Maze, which of course we bought at the beginning of the episode, making it kind of a must-have for the Nightmare. 
everything sold and we managed to make enough money to buy the set for 184 million gp quite hefty but it is definitely going to be worth the price now if you go ahead and check the set if you have all pieces of the inquisitor set equipped you get 2.5 percent increased damage and accuracy use the inquisitor maze will triple this bonus so we should definitely see some new personal bests today new setup feels clean man it's so good i the accuracy is just crazy and even the first kill of today was really sloppy and we still get a personal best yeah i honestly didn't even expect to get a personal best as i screwed up a lot of things but uh, that should only get faster from now on honestly you know, honestly, I don't really use the Gmol too much at the end of the fight. The specs are not really hitting as much as I thought they would, so I'm going to be banking it and bringing more supplies and actually try my first 2kc trip. So let's give it a go. You know, not too bad. Look at my supplies. I still have a decent amount and we're about to finish the first kc here. Also, the boss can drop supply drops of like prey potions, sand fuse, and I think sharks and bass. Mithralore this time, however. But if I do get a supply drop, I can probably even go for 3kc sometimes. Oh! Oh my god, so close. We have three doses of sand fuse serum left and no food for... Oh, sand fuse serum. That's what I'm talking about. If I would have had food left now, I could definitely have gone for another KC. I guess I don't have combat potions, but I could bring two next time, maybe. 20 kills deep of the day, and I'm getting roughly six kills an hour, so it's definitely not too fast. And I'm really preparing myself for a massively long day today, because the goal is to get to the drop rate of an item, 113 KC, which could be like 14 hours of the nightmare, or... We get an item. If I get an item very soon, I'll keep going, but uh, I really want to get one item today or at least hit the drop rate. You can think of it like this. Every 10kc I do is 2 hours of killing the Fosani's Nightmare, and that is 60kc done. 70kc for an elite clue scroll as well, not bad. 80kc, still no items in sight. 90kc... And this is the big one, 100 KC done on the Fosani's Nightmare for some bass, uh, not the greatest drop to get. I really don't want to go too dry on this boss because this is the one with big money potential for this series. We really need this money, so please can we get something before 113? Well, at this point, I've been going for roughly 14 hours. And yes, I did have a break to eat food. I need to do my human stuff. But uh, I'm getting very, very tired. And that is 110 KC done. Only three more to go before I can go to bed. And I can get the sweet relief and actually have normal dreams, not nightmares like I'm having in this game. This is it. End of day number two. Regardless of what happens, I'm very sad we haven't got anything yet, to be honest. And that is another bass drop. That means we have been unlucky on this boss so far. And tomorrow we are going to be doing some normal nightmare, but this is now my collection log. 113 for Sunny's nightmare with only the sleepy tablet obtained. Good morning everyone, it's time to find a team because today we are killing the group version of the boss, which has a 1 in 66.6 drop rate of a rare item, so we should have a way better chance of getting something today, or at least seeing an item. As it is very early in the morning, the mass groups are not even that big, so I might as well join in the actual Nightmare of Ashihama world and see if I can pick up an item. Yeah, even in the mass worlds right now, I can get four-man teams down because there's so few people online right now, and that still felt really fast. Let's see, the time is 6 minutes and 32 seconds, but unfortunately, no item. Ideally, you do want five people when doing the nightmare for speed and also chance of me specifically getting an item, but uh, I think we are more than that right now. I think it's going to say, yeah, six plus players. That is a very fast KC, but if there is way too many people in these mass worlds, me getting an item is very unlikely. There's actually two mass worlds for Nightmare of Ashihama, and one of them is kind of empty, and I actually found a team here of four people, so maybe this is the way to go. Of course, other people can join randomly in this this world but that is all good as long as we stay smaller teams now in a four man for me specifically to get an item it's one in 266 the drop rates are kind of weird so that might not be 100 accurate but it is kind of rare but of course in four mans compared to the fosani's nightmare it is definitely faster to get the kc now we are doing free for alls so if someone else gets an item i do not get a split of it so me getting the item is required to make profit here bit of a shout out to soldra rs he's the only guy that's sticking around for all these kills the other guys kind of go back and forth and some other people randomly join in this mass world 
But we just did a duo and uh, that was a 9-10 KC. So I've made some calculations about the Nightmare versus the Fosani's Nightmare when doing a free-for-all four-mans. At the moment on the Nightmare, we're getting roughly 12 kills an hour. And on the Fosani's Nightmare, I was getting six. So it's basically double on this one. But of course, if an item drops in a 4-man, it is only 25% chance that I actually get it. And as it is free for all splits, I get nothing if someone else gets an item. So the way I'm going to be doing it is if I find a team that does splits, then I will keep doing the Nightmare. Otherwise, I'm jumping back to Fosani's Nightmare. Well, we are overdue for an item on the Fosani's Nightmare, and we have roughly 5 hours left of day 3, so... Let's see if that's enough to get something. We had a crazy run here. I've hit some massive BGS specs. I think this is by far the fastest I've ever killed this. 839 was my previous. 759. Holy, that's like 40 second improvement. Let's see what the Grandmaster task is for this. So the Grandmaster speed task is 730. Okay, that is really difficult with my current gear setup to get, but maybe possible. The Fosani's Nightmare hitbox is quite goddamn annoying, especially in the final face when it's back it's arched like this and this can happen i feel like i literally clicked on the boss and just yellow click right through it and die that happens like nine minutes into the kill as well very very fun it has been five hours of Fosani's Nightmare now, and we're hitting 30 KC done in that time, and that's actually on the higher end. That's how slow this boss is. I've only died once, and that was that yellow click you guys just saw, but we have seen nothing so far, and uh, that KC does not change it. Also, my Blood Fury is almost out, so I think this is a good time to end day three of the grind, wake up tomorrow, buy new Blood Fury, and just grind this boss out. Good morning everyone, we are buying another Blood Fury and these are unfortunately very expensive right now. 10.7 million GP and of course that is all just a negative, you don't get any of this back. 10,000 hits however, so that should last a good amount of time. A miracle has happened, I have found a 3-man, Max Nick and Soltra RS from the masses has decided to join me and we are doing splits. I don't think we're going to be staying here for very long because no one actually wants to do the nightmare. And we have the first KC, I'm not sure how fast this is, 6 minutes, okay, that is also a personal best, so we are doing better than the random 3-mans I was doing. Actually, kind of a cool thing that happened during this, there is a combat achievement where you have to kill both of these husks at the exact same tick. And usually you would use a dragon two-hander spec to AoE them down, but I was lucky enough to actually get my thrall to finish off the other one at the exact same time. Well, our third already has to go and he will be back in an hour, so this is the nightmare experience, I swear. People do not want to do this, boss. But me and Max Nick are going to do some duos. It's definitely pretty slow, but if we get an item, it is, of course, a massive split. We did a duo. Nice. Let's see if we're First rewarded duo. for it. Yeah. Spray potions. 9.39. Not too bad. 9.39. New PB for duo. I'm gonna see if we can get an item within the next three rolls, okay? So say okay. three random numbers between 1 and 66, the drop rate of an item. I'm gonna go with 37, 22, and 63. Okay, first one, 17. That's none of your numbers. 33. Oh, we got 64 on the last one. That close, huh? Oh, uh, no item for us. We're gonna keep going dry. For context here, my teammate died extremely early on this kill, and I thought, might as well, I have a lot of supplies, I'm going to try to solo the entire thing. This is gonna be such a slow kill, like 14, 15 minutes or something. Huge solo. Massive. <laughs> wow, this is Nightmare in a nutshell, man. 14 minutes, basically solo for sharks. Thank you. Final kill. Come on. Cradentines. What'd you get? I got cannonballs. Well. <laughs> After that depressing nightmare session with the boys, I went back to the Fosani's nightmare to finish up the day, and this happened. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! We got the first item! 148kc Inquisitor's Plate Skirts! I'm freaking out, man. That took 30 hours of doing Fosani and the Nightmare. Let's have a look at the collection log. Finally, we have a slot that is actually valuable. Inquisitor's Plate Skirt on 58 Nightmare KC and 148 Fosani's Nightmare. 
That is crazy. Hopefully that is going to open the floodgate for more items as well. It seems to be selling over the GE value, so let's go ahead and just put it in for regular. And there we go. Insta sold for 72.6 million, but after tax 71.9. That is a hefty amount. And honestly, my cash pile was not looking too healthy in my bank, so that was a very good time to get it. After that Inquisitor plate skirt, I went right back to the Fosani's Nightmare to finish off day number four. And we did five to six hours, I think, of the Fosani's Nightmare. We hit 170 KC and this was the final loot of the day. I think a bit of an update now on day 5 on the stats on this scoreboard is in order, so let's have a look. We have done 170 for Sunny's Nightmare KC, and we've died 23 times. I think this ratio is pretty decent for someone who is not super experienced on the Fosani's Nightmare, but 23 KC means a lot of time wasted, unfortunately, because most of these are like 8 minutes into the fight. Now, if we do get an item on the last 3 days here, I do want to buy a Void Waker with the money, because that is so good on the Fosani nightmare it might actually push me over the 730 possibility of getting the grandmaster speed achievement but for that we do need a drop so let's get to it it's kind of funny that after the last clip when i went into the fosani's nightmare i'm now at the normal nightmare i did a couple of hours of fosani got nothing but i wanted to take a break and see how fast i could solo the nightmare the reason being is i did some calculations on drop rates and if i kill the nightmare within 15 minutes it is more time efficient to get uniques Alright, that was a long kill. Let's see. 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, this is this is way worse than the Fosani's Nightmare. I don't know how I managed a 15 minute kill the other time when Max Nick died early in the kill, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be very consistent. If we can manage not to misclick anything here, this is going to be KC number 200 of the grind. And uh, well, I've got 1.6 million attack experience. We've gained two levels on this grind, and it's been roughly... 40 hours give or take, so like a full work week at this point of killing the Fosani's Nightmare. And we get some prayer potions. And all we've got is one Inquisitor Skirt. Sure, we are not quite on the drop rate for two items yet. That is on 226. But as we're now getting closer to the end of this grind, with increased drop rates, I really hoped we would get lucky on this grind. And it hasn't really been the case so far. You hate to see it, man. On step number six of this elite, I got the Farmer Straw Hat and Pyromancer Robe step. I can't do this. I don't have, like, any of these items, really. And they could take a very long time to get. Actually, the second time... I get this step on just this grind in seven elites, so kind of unfortunate, but have to drop it. Okay, on that note, we're done. Uh, day five is done. It is now midnight. I'm not going back after that. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Man, I just woke up. I can't wait for another day of grinding for Sunny's Nightmare. And the group nightmare. I actually want to do a bit of group today, but let's get into it. As it is very early now in the morning, we are going to be doing some masses. Of course, it is all free for all, but as there's very few people here right now, it should be fine. There is a decent chance of getting an item, and I need a break from Fosani's Nightmare anyways. As we're probably going to be spending the entire day doing masses, we're going to rack up quite a lot of KC, and we're starting on 59, so let's see how far we can get, and if we can see any items. No way. That's messed up, man. In a mass of like 10 people, the first item I get is a jar of drip. This is the most rare item you can get, I think. It may be even more rare than the pets. And that jar is the only item I've seen in 100 KC with this one. And not even a single other person in all these KC have got an item. So I'm feeling kind of cursed right now. Maybe I'm the reason. Oh my god, someone got an Inquisitor's Mace? That's like 340 million right now. Holy shit, that's the first item I've actually seen except the jar so far. Sad that it wasn't me getting it. I know that it probably doesn't seem like it to you guys, but I've actually been here for a full day now and there really just isn't too much to show. I've done a mix of 3 to 5 mans and masses and we end on 170 KC for day number 6 and no items in my name except for the Jar of Dreams being basically useless.
And so finally, we've arrived at the final day of this grind, and I want to give myself the best chance of seeing an item in my name, and because of that, we're spending a full 14-hour day yet again at the Fosani's Nightmare. Drop rate-wise, I'm soon due for another item, so let's hopefully get lucky and see something in this 14-hour long day. Let's see if we can start off day 7 with a strong start, and we get some uncut emeralds. Wow. It has been a very quiet 5 hours so far, and that is 245 overall, Casey, and I think, as we have 9 hours left, we should land almost exactly on 300 KC. No way. Oh, come on. Parasitic Egg, that is the pet transform. I don't even have the pet, and that is one in 200. Pretty much double of seeing any unique item. I'm like nine hours in at this point. Please, I just want anything else. And with this kill, we are hitting 10 hours of day seven, the final day. And after this one, we only have four more hours. Oh, Snapdragon Seeds, not a bad drop. But we only have four hours to go, and my prediction of hitting 300 KC seems to be fairly accurate. Well, it has been 12 hours, we only have two hours left to go. I'm honestly feeling like I kind of want to extend that a bit at this point, because we have not got anything at all. I'm definitely starting to get very tired, but I want an item more than anything to end off the video. And I feel like this is a good showcase that even with the buffed drop rates, the nightmare is such a pain to do. If you just get slightly unlucky, it could take you 20, 30 extra hours just to get one item. We just passed over the 14 hour mark and uh, yeah, still absolutely nothing of value. Luckily, I woke up super early today and as it's the final day, I have to give it my all. It's 10 p.m. right now and I'm going to keep sending more KC as long as I can stay awake because... Uh, Honestly, man, I just want to see one last item. It really would suck to only see one single Inquisitor item the entire grind. Also, my Blood Amulet of Fury only has 300 charges left, and we have to make a painful purchase. 13.3 million GP for one Blood Shard. And at this point, I think I've gone through four of these. So as a matter of fact, with all the supplies and the Blood Shards especially, I have actually lost money on this grind, even though we got an Inquisitor item. So I really need something here. Okay, so we have 600 Trident Charges left. I think as it is now 1 a.m., it's probably a good time to end when my Trident is out of charges, so I probably have another good 3 to 4 KC max left. And that's it. The Trident has no charges left. I will have to finish this KC by just mailing the pillars, which definitely is not ideal. But this is it. The final kill is coming up. It definitely is a massive disappointment, I haven't got anything really, and at this point I'm fairly sure I've actually lost money quite a good amount on this grind, but uh, here we go, the final KC coming in, let's zoom in, the final loot of this video is cannonballs, 80,000 GP, I definitely used more than 80,000 GP for this kill, 10 minute KC. This is the collection log, 326 KC on the Fosanis Nightmare, 170 on the Nightmare, and the only thing worth anything we got was the Inquisitor's Plate Skirts. This honestly has to be the worst grind I have ever done on this account, or any account for that matter. This is all the loot that we got in 70 hours roughly of killing the Nightmare and the Fosanis Nightmare, and the result is that we actually lost money. I think we lost overall 80 to 90 million GP in supplies. The only thing we have left is 6 Elite Caskets for our saving grace, so let's go ahead and open them, see if we can get any Masters or any anything of any value at all we are the first master master done let's keep opening and we get another master and a unique as well but not worth anything mine a piece of runite ore uh yeah i have 76 i am not getting nine mining levels let's see if we have any more interruptions for the last two elites and we do not get another master 143k 100k for the last one and for the master let's see what we get we get 900k, that is more than probably I've made from the Nightmare overall in 70 hours, nice. So here is my conclusion after 70 hours of farming the Fosani's Nightmare and the normal Nightmare. Don't do it.